Hello everyone, this is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to see about L1 and L2 regularization. So we are going to use uh, lasso and uh, ridge regression uh, for uh, doing this uh, regularization. So without regularization, by default, we will be using a linear regression uh, model. I will also show you with an example like how it works. First, uh, let us load a data set for us to experiment with. So I am importing a uh, pandas library and I'm quickly uh, loading a data set, which is wine quality uh, data set. So this wine quality data set has these input attributes and uh, this is the target attribute. I'm going to remove this uh, type and it also has some uh, null values. I'm going to fill that as well. So data equals data dot drop columns type and I'm going to sorry this is df which is the data frame df equals df of fill null values I'm going to fill it with a negative value just to indicate that it is a null value so let's run this now this is our uh, final data set after doing uh, basic pre-processing. Let's uh, split the input and output. X equals df of drop. Columns will be, I'm going to drop the output variable. So if you drop the output means uh, we will have all the input attributes in variable X and Y will have quality which is the target variable let's run this after this we are going to do a train test split before that we will import uh, the other modules as well from scikit-learn dot model selection import train test split and uh, from scikit-learn dot linear model I will import uh, lasso and uh, ridge and uh, for the metrics I'm going to use uh, mean squared error sklearn dot metrics import mean squared error so let's import this now I'll just split the training and uh, test data quickly x train x test y train y test train test split x y test size i'll just take 20 percent of the samples for test data random state equals 42 after this we will implement lasso regression lasso Now let's initialize the lasso model. Lasso model equals lasso. And there is a crucial parameter called alpha. By default, it is uh, one. I'll just set it as one for now. And uh, for uh, other experiments, I'll just change this parameter and show you how it affects the results. We have initialized the model. Let's uh, train the model. So lasso model dot fit x train and uh, y train after training let's predict from model so predictions equals or I can say y pred equals lasso model dot predict x test after this I will calculate MSC so lasso MSC equals mean squared sorry mean squared error of y test comma 
y pred and we can also print this lasso msc and uh, this will be lasso msc this is the msc score we are uh, getting for uh, lasso let's uh, do it for uh, ridge so this is the l1 regression i'll just uh, add it and uh, this will be ridge this will be l2 regression sorry regularization i'll just copy this and paste it here so i'll just change this to ridge this also has the parameter called alpha and uh, this also i will just change it to ridge model and uh, we have updated everything sorry i didn't update here usually while copy pasting this might happen so it's better to type now you can see uh, we got both uh, lasso mean squared error and uh, ridge mean squared error so what does lasso and ridge do lasso usually assign some penalty to the coefficients and uh, it will go almost zero for ridge it will add some penalty for uh, some of the feature values that we have but it won't go completely to zero compared to uh, lasso so this is especially uh, useful for uh, feature selection so let's see what are the features are selected by both of these uh, models so for visualization purpose i will be using uh, matplotlib so import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt i'll just import it at the top with a common variable so here let's visualize plot dot figure equals figure equals i'll just specify the dimensions 10 comma 6 i'm going to create a bar chart it will have x columns and a lasso model coefficient and uh, color you can uh, set it to anything so color i am just setting it as uh, blue you can change it to anything you want i'll just uh, give another color for uh, the second bar chart for ridge so we can also label this for uh, better interpretation i will call this as features and uh, y label will be coefficients coefficients and i will have a title as well coefficients efficiency of features plot dot x ticks so i'm going to slightly tilt the x axis uh, names for uh, better readability so rotation rotation equals 45 degree and uh, we can just leave it now plot tight layout to avoid any additional space and finally plot dot show let's run this it's having some run time error let's see cannot put single artist is in more than one figure okay this is fixed size now you can see these are the coefficients for all the other features it just uh, gone to zero you can also print the uh, coefficient uh, values to see that i'll just print it here see all these feature values gone to zero for uh, lasso model let's uh, do the same for uh, ridge regression so ridge model dot cof underscore here you can see it just adjust 
uh, added some penalty to some of the variables, which is not important, but it, it doesn't go to complete zero. So that's the only difference between uh, lasso and ridge. So if you want to completely eliminate the features, uh, you can use this. Or if you want to like sort the features based on the correlation means, you can use ridge. So let's copy this and paste it here. Just change it to ridge model. Run this. Now you can clearly uh, see it, right? It has some uh, negative coefficients and positive coefficients as well. Only some of them gone to zero, but it's not like actually uh, zero. It's just like a very minute uh, value. That's why we, we cannot see anything. We can also change the color. Let's say orange. So we are clearly differentiating uh, between these two. That's how you can add some regularization uh, if you have so many feature values in your uh, data set. Now, as I mentioned before, we can play around with this alpha. If you set this to zero for both of them, I'll just uh, run it from here. So it will just uh, consider that as like a linear regression. See, it's just using a linear regression and we are getting same values. It doesn't add any penalty at all. See, these are the coefficient. These are we are getting for linear regression. See, we are getting the same. But when you add some alpha to it, say let's say 0 0.5 in this case, see the values are changed and uh, some of the values gone to zero as usual. So alpha is the regularization strength. So I'll just add this here. Phi equals regularization strength. You have to experiment with this uh, multiple times in order to get the variable. You can do a grid search as well. See, the coefficients are completely changed if you change the alpha. Now different features are selected uh, based on these uh, alpha values. So you can experiment with uh, other values and uh, what are the features are uh, getting high coefficients and uh, select those features as uh, important. So that's pretty much it guys. So this is uh, very helpful for uh, avoid uh, overfitting and uh, also do uh, feature selection. So I'll just uh, add that here as well. I'll just say reduce overfitting and perform feature selection as well. Okay, that's pretty much it guys. Uh, if you have any uh, queries, please leave a comment uh, below. I will definitely answer uh, all the comments. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.